Welcome to the teardown of Sony's VAIO TAP11 tablet PC. Now, before we open it up, here's a quick look at the outside. The front lid lifts off and serves as the keyboard. Along the sides, we have our USB 3.0 and micro HDMI port. The opposite side features the volume control, power button, and headphone jack. Along the top is the CPU and heat fan exhaust port, a micro SD slot, assist button, and power charge indicators. The bottom area has three pickups to serve as the keyboard charging jack. And now on the back, we have dual speakers, a stand, rear camera, and dual array microphone. The front screen is a full HD 1920 by 1080 triluminous display for mobile with an opti-contrast display panel. There's also a front one megapixel camera. The material on the rear of the Viotap 11 is magnesium. Now onto the guts. First is the removal of five screws from the external that run along the edge. Next is releasing and removing the top glass panel. Next, we remove the main connector ribbon that adjoins the display from the central system of the tap. The largest area houses the 29 watt hour battery. The battery is a 3800 mAh battery that comprises the majority of the unit weight at 1.7 pounds without the keyboard. Removing the battery involves unhinging the power connector, which powers the motherboard, and removing additional screws. On the display portion of the tablet PC, we have magnetic pieces on all four corners, which work to hold onto the keyboard along with a front-facing camera, which is a one megapixel camera with an Exmor R sensor. It also houses the camera connector to the motherboard. The bottom left is the charging connection for the keyboard, the video panel connectors, connector tape for the Windows button, and special copper tape which marries the fan once the unit is shut to help dissipate the heat. Along the bottom are the wires for speaker one and speaker two. On the main side of the tablet PC, we have the USB 3.0 and micro HDMI port and the memory chip which holds four gigabytes of RAM. At the top are ambient light sensors. The NFC chip is located on the other side of the motherboard and the card slots are located right above along with a volume and headphone jack connectors. Additional screws allow for the removal of the wireless card and the spring-loaded solid-state hard drive. The hard drive is 128 gigabytes. The power jack is removed through a breakaway design. Now we disconnect the thermal sensor in order to begin the release of the motherboard. After unhinging additional ribbons and the removal of 10 additional screws and the lock hinges, the motherboard is completely separated. Looking at the motherboard, we have the CPU fan and heat sink technology covering the processor. In older traditional computers, the heat fan and processor is stacked much like a sandwich. In more current models, these components are separated in order to maintain the thin design. To do so, the fan and heat transfer becomes a self-contained piece. The processor has a frame that bolts down the copper in order to have good contact with the chip to dissipate the heat evenly. Unhinging this reveals the processor, which is a Core i7. As you can see, it's covered in thermal paste, so we have a photo for you on the other side of the screen. The back side of the motherboard includes an 8 megapixel camera with an Exmor RS sensor. So there you have it, two very flat pieces with a ton of parts that makes this one of the lightest, thinnest teardowns on signal, but with all the gadget goodness we can expect. To see more on Sony, head to youtube.com signal.